That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. My head is killing me. My head feels like it's going to explode. The old pipes don't work. This dilapidated room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. Here's an old trench coat. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. There is a bulge in the pocket of the trench coat. The sheets are blanketed with dust, and now so are my hands. Those wooden planks creak a lot. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go, but it's just me now. These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. This old globe is a collector's item dating back decades. The walls seem hollow here. This secret room is dark and damp. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced. Nothing in here. An old empty steamer trunk. This trunk is locked with a rusty padlock. No use trying, it's really tight. What a tremendous view of the town from up here. But the wooden railing looks as though it has seen better days. That's a gargoyle. One of those mythical creatures used to keep demons at bay. At least the lawn doesn't need mowing. This place is a shambles. Reminds me of my last garage. Now this baby could be a collector's item if it were properly restored. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. This car sure is old, but I think it could still be made to run.
There's a crowbar in the trunk. There's an old diary inside this trunk. It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow out of time, a relic of a dark past, or perhaps a dark future. The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. This town looks unnaturally quiet. What a quaint general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Dawson, but you'll have to pay for that. Serve yourself, Mr. Dawson. That's the last bottle of scotch. Boy, Delbert's gonna be mad. Hi, you must be Mike. I'm your neighbor, Delbert. Why don't we get together tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at six. You're a writer, huh? I'm a lawyer by trade. Why don't you take one of my cards? old library, a venerable repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. This card really should be kept with the book. 
You'll find that one in aisle C. It's the one with the green cover. Sure is quiet here. You could hear a pin drop. The rows of books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same. There's a green book with a scrap of paper hanging out of it. Here's an entry to an old cemetery, overgrown with weeds. This place looks like no one has been around attended for a long time. These are ancient symbols covering this mausoleum. But I'm not up on my Egyptian. The tomb door won't open. <coughs> it worked. The door opened. Feels like a cold draft just hit me. Or is it just my nerves? The names on these caskets have faded away with time. I guess the caskets have been sealed shut to preserve freshness. Joe Tuttle, beloved butcher. There's a clock key among the ashes. A peaceful place to meditate. Not that I have the time.
Hello. Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime. Hi Mike, here's the book that was put on hold for you. That's a chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. The varnish is still smooth. There's a piece of paper taped to the mirror. A masterpiece of the macabre. Its eyes follow me relentlessly. This picture is very alien to me. This grandfather clock reverberates an ancient, endless tempo. There appears to be a plaque inside, but I can't make out what it says. The clock casing is locked for some reason. I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. The door is stuck. I wouldn't want to see the food in here anyway. This watch doesn't seem to be working. I feel sleepy. I think I will go to bed now.
These nightmares have given me a mean headache. An unnatural glow emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. Strange alien smells are rising from the half-dead creatures encased in these glassine prisons. There's an empty case, just waiting for the alien's next victim. I don't think I really want to climb inside. The horrible shape twists and writhes as it hangs from its biomechanical umbilicus. It's cold to the touch. This wall of skulls seems to be almost alive. These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. I don't think there's anything in the world I could do to open that door.
There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. There's a pair of binoculars. Has someone been here before me? This cold and creepy landscape does not look like an inviting place for a picnic. There's a strange lever projecting from the side of the edifice. This is the outside of the alien edifice. It reminds me somewhat of the front of my own house. These petrified images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. All my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. However, nothing ventured. It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Perhaps it would be safer to return home now. That's strange. What would a shovel be doing in this place? J. Poosh, may he rest in peace. R. Leibowitz, a canticle for his deeds. J. McKeegan. Come here, Dawson. 
I want a word with you. You're under arrest, Mr. Dawson. Come with me. What a cold and uninviting place. I never thought I'd be spending a night in here. A tin cup. Old grungy pillow. I really don't need to take the pillow. I have enough of them at home. A friend of Dilbert's, huh? Come with me, Dawson. This is the inside of a police station. There's a map of the city. Good to see you, Dawson. Follow me. This must be the neighbor's yard. Boy, that's smooth. Thanks for coming by, Mike. This alien park was obviously engineered by creatures with a bizarre and cruel sense of humor. the main lobby of an alien jail. They could use a new decorator. So that's where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. Alien graffiti scars the walls. No one who enters here ever leaves alive.
long corridor leading to freedom. Greetings, human. I am Saro, prisoner of this dungeon for nine years. I am prepared to give you the gift of invisibility in exchange for my freedom. The sign over the doorway, if you could read it, would tell you this is the Dreketh Guards Recruitment Center. You're in the Great Archive Chamber. Many of the ancient secrets are available here for those who know how to access them. I'll bet this is the main archive's access screen. I can't reach the screen. Besides, it's not a touch screen. Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages over the radio. The ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. If born, this creature will destroy you and all of mankind. You must find the ancient's power source and destroy it. Also, the police in your world are under the control of the ancient. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry and good luck. Both my headache and these nightmares are getting worse.
This dark room looks like it is seldom used. A reader for viewing microfiche films. Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. There's a loose flagstone with a hole bored into it. There's a set of keys. Under the rock was a set of keys. The alien's power source appears to be located in this chamber. This is the heart of the power nexus. I feel it vibrating with alien energies. The stone seems energized and warm to the touch.
Remember, anything seen in the mirror is not real. Only the mirror itself is real. Here's the opening to the gas tank. The gas tank cover is missing. The motor starts. This large room looks like a control center. You have just engaged the main engine startup sequence. I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I just felt drawn to you. I know it sounds strange, but what's even more strange is that I found these pills in my purse. It's a prescription filled in your name for relief of severe headaches. I'm just beginning to understand. <laughs> 